this will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories. This is my review of the 2019 Tantive 4 set. And this set is a set I fell in love with when I first saw it at Star Wars Celebration. And I wanted to get it and recently got it. It's a very cool set and I hope I didn't leave any minifigures to the side. That took a few out for a different display. But I'm pretty sure I put them back. So first let's take a look at the interiors of this. Since that will help so much. This is a very big set. And yes, I put everyone back. So we have two more figures here. Bail Organa and Princess Leia inside of the conference room where Obi-Wan, Yoda, and Bail met in Revenge of the Sith a few times where the ultimate decision for going into exile was made. And if we go back here, we have another kind of interior place where we pop this off. And there's really just a storage for some extra spring-loaded shooters. So let's put that back on. I also put back on the turret system. And this is one of the coolest sets. So this is the first ship we've ever seen in Star Wars. Right at the beginning. There's one that's actually at the front that I'll show off in a moment. But if you pop these off on both sides, here are the escape pods. And look inside. We have our last two, two of our last figures, with one exception, our C-3PO and R2-D2. The same on the other side, where I believe I put an extra Rebel Fleet Trooper in. Yes, there is an extra Rebel Fleet Trooper in. He is not from this set. He is from another set that one of my brothers owned, but I got off of him since I really wanted one of these figures. That was before I owned this set. And, oops, I just popped one off, but yeah, I need to just look back over here, put this back on. Alright, these are very hard to do with a one-handed angle. Like a bunch of stuff, I will take, let's wiggle R2 out, I can pretty easily pop 3PO out for later on video, part of the video. And pop this back on. Move it to uh, a little more easily slide this back in since it's at my angle. And I'll pop this area off quickly one more time. <sighs> Grab Leia, her extra dress piece, and bail Ghana out. And now I can put this back on. And move to the front so I could show you the cockpit, which is removed pretty easily. You just pop this side off, and on the other side you pop that off. And if we go in to look, you could see. Sorry about that. Captain Antilles and all the Rebel Fleet Trooper, who I will take out now. So you can pretty clearly see what the cockpit looks like with these two pieces here. And let's put these back on. This is going to be pretty hard to move around since this is about two feet long. Since that's how long this table is. So I just have to kind of Pop this back in, and now we can look again at the front, where you can see how that is. And I'll look at the side details. We have this move, sort of movable turret. If I move really up to here and here, since it pretty obviously is being constructed by this, and the back of the center. 
I think you have some seconds so we can see it. Back here we have this part, which is so it's both the radar dish and a carrying handle. And the set is kind of heavy. I'm just going to put it back down. And you can see the side engines here. Okay, let's just try to get this to the bottom. Or no, we'll see the front view of this. Where you can see the Tandy 4 is front. Look at the top here. It would probably be a little easier if I just put it down. But let's take a quick look at the bottom of this. And I'm going to flip this rack around so you can see the other side of it. Because this is a very heavy set. It's not super heavy, it's just really awkward to hold. Okay, again, it's basically the same details on this side. And if we take a look at the back engines, they're very detailed. And this is just very awkward to hold. And the bottom we have really two points we're going to land on, which is the bottom turret. And this little... I don't really know what it is. And we're looking at the rest of the set. This is a very impressive set. It costs two hundred dollars, and I believe you could still buy it right now. But it should be retiring soon. So now let's show off the figures for it. Setting them up, we have Bail Organa, C three PO, Captain Antilles, and that's amazing. It's dropped his helmet. Uh, yeah. But, oh, I hate how, how these helmets don't stick on that well. Put in there. We'll put this fleet trooper here. Let's actually move Bale over a little bit. I'll put R2D2 here. And then finally, I'm going to set up the layout, but I'm going to switch your legs out in a moment. So if you look at them, the figures, Leia, Bail Organa, R2, 3PO, Captain Antilles, and the Fleet Trooper. I mean, it's just Rebel Trooper, but I believe their official name is the Fleet Trooper. And we have Leia's dress legs here. And let me pop this off. That is... Leia with her dress on, which is a nicer figure, which also comes in the X-Wing from earlier this year, I believe. But if we take a look at it, she has a silver blaster. We get the backside. She has a more angry kind of expression in it. And putting it back on, we can turn her back around. You can see her going from the front. Baylor Ground is probably the coolest figure to include in here since we never had him before. He has a more normal face over here. And if we take a look at the back, he has a little more of a, I don't really know, it's a little more angry expression. But let's pop the hair back on. And if we look under his cape, there's nothing really down here besides a little print. And that's cool. We have an R2-D2 here. Who I believe is in every set. Not every set, every year of sets, we have an R2-D2 figure. So he's not too hard to find. This is the most recent print, I believe, of him. Look at his back and interesting details. C-3PO is the same as he's been for a while. And then we have Antilles of the Fleet Trooper. The Fleet Trooper, if we pop his helmet around. He definitely looks a little more angry in the backside. But he's probably going to die in Stormtrooper battles right at the beginning. When the Stormtroopers were still a little bit competent. But... You know, they can't aim now anymore, especially at main characters. It's called plot armor, people. They're not super terrible shots. And then we have Captain Antilles here. 
And let's take a look at his back head. Where it looks like he looks like he's really terrified because he's being strangled to death by Vader. And yeah, he gets strangled to death by Vader. What's super crazy is that he has no relation to Wedge Antilles. And that's just a very common name in the Star Wars universe, especially on Alderaan, I believe. I'm not sure if Wedge is from Alderaan. But I do know it's a very common name there. But yeah, this is my review of this set. Let's flip three peel back around. Or two around again. And yeah, this is a set I really enjoy. It's one of the coolest ones I own. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please like the video, leave some comments, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends, and may the force be with you.